Hey guys, welcome to another lunch home review. Today I'm gonna to try Wow Bao. Uh, these are Bao Mongolian, Mongolian style spicy beef and a Bao Chinese style barbecue pork. Um, I'm gonna try one of each, um, put them together. We bought these at Walmart. They were $7.47, which is odd, $7.47. They're 10 ounces for each box and you get four of the, the buns um, in each one. So let's do the, now let's do the Chinese style barbecue pork. It says it has steamed bun filled with pork and Chinese style barbecue sauce is made in the USA. Um, 200 calories for one bun. There's your other info for you. So heating directions you can do. Uh, if you want to, you can do stovetop steam. Of course, I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want to. There's directions. We are going to microwave it. So we're going to remove the bowel from the plastic, place the frozen bowel on a... Um, Microwave safe plate and cover with damp paper towel. Microwave on high for 50 seconds for one bowel and uh, one minute and 20 seconds for two. Carefully remove from microwave and allow to cool slightly before enjoying. So I've got a plate over here and I'm gonna put it on the plate. Once I open it. So like I said, I'm gonna do one of each one. All right, so they're just in one big bag. Oh, but it looks like it's resealable, so. There it is, I'm gonna leave the little paper on the bottom. And yeah, it looks like, is it resealable? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna take that, and you go smack it, and you slide it back in the box. Cool, they thought about resealing the bag, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that on that side. This one is a spicy beef. It's 210 calories for one bun. And um, two minutes, two minutes for two bow is so. The this one, the first one was 120. Mm, so I'm probably gonna have to do these separately. And this one is 130 for one. So I'll end up, I'll, I'll switch plates. I'll get two smaller plates, um, but it doesn't matter to you. You just want to see what they look like. So here's these buns. Just be careful when you're opening these because this bag, this bag is just open. It's not um, sealed or anything. So that's what it looks like as well. So it looks exactly the same. Oh, bow beef. What does this one say? Barbecue. Okay. So I'm going to get two smaller plates. I'll do them separate times. Let me seal this bag. Um, I'll do them as two separate times and then um, I'll still, um, it'll still be good and hot. Trust me. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so here they are out of the microwave. The good thing is this one says it's barbecue and this one says it's beef, so I can keep track of which one's which. I did want to cut them open for not only you, but to let it cool off a little bit as well, but I can also see what's inside of them. Oh, nice and fluffy bun. Decent filling, that's good. And this sets the barbecue and this one's the beef. Ooh, it's hot. This one just came out. Oh, yeah. It's a little a more liquid inside or moisture inside of there, but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let these cool off for just a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm good to try the barbecue one. Um, so I, I cut it into fourth just so I can pick it up and eat it a little easier. So it says it's steamed bun filled with pork and Chinese style barbecue sauce. Um, like I said, the bun itself is really good and soft and, and all this kind of bun has a kind of a, like a skin on the outside of it. It feels kind of uh, rubbery, like a really um, soft, soft pretzel. It's kind of got, or a, it's not even a bagel. It's very, it's softer than either one of those. It's just got a little bit of a, um, a rubbery texture to it. I really like the flavor of the, uh, the sauce in there. It's not, um, it's not, it's got a little spice to it, but it's not like really, really burn your mouth out, um, burn your tongue or anything like that. Even the tingle in the back of my throat is very light. It's not really heavy. Um, the bun itself has a really good texture. Like I said, they've got a little bit of a, a chew to them, but they're not like rubbery or, or hard to chew. They're just, uh, they're not as soft as like regular bread. They've got a little bit more tug to them, a little bit more pull. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. It is 200 calories for a bun, so just keep that in mind. But I do like the flavor of that. I also like the texture of not only the bun, but I also like the texture of the beef itself because 
of a pulled, um, was it pork? Yeah, pulled pork. But pulled pork is like, um, it's shredded really nicely. You can see it's bigger hunks. It's not really uh, fine and grainy um, and tiny little pieces of pork. It's actually a bigger piece of pork, which I really like. So yeah, that's really, really good. I like the texture and the flavor of those. So this is the uh, Mongolian style spicy beef. It is, um, it's filled with beef, vegetables, and garlic chili paste. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit um, spicier than the other one. Hmm. Definitely spicy. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> Burn your tongue spicy. Um, ooh. That's some hot stuff. I love the flavor, though, of the beef. The beef is really nice. And uh, that chili paste, you really get the chili flavor. So it tastes like you're eating uh, peppers. So it's really, really nice. And you do, like I said, you do get the beef. A little bit of the garlic. The garlic is kind of killed off a little bit by the pepper flavor, but um, you do get a little bit of the garlic in there. Uh, the bun itself is the same texture. It's very, um, it's soft, but it has a little bit of a chew to it, which I like. Um, I kind of like that spiciness, and the spiciness goes away. I mean, it's still there a little bit, but it's not like really, really intense. When you first eat it, though, it's really like kind of almost burns your throat. Yeah, that's really, really good. Now, the texture of the beef itself is a little finer grained. It's it's still not, it's almost like hamburger or ground beef um, texture. I if that's exactly the texture it is, is ground beef. Because um, when you get a piece by itself, that's what it is. Um, which is nice, because now you can do ground beef really, really tiny and sand-like almost. This is not like that. It's, it's a little bit bigger pieces than that. So you actually get the texture of the, of the ground beef and the... Um, like I said, I really like that chili paste. It's spicy though. Um, so if you don't like spicy food, of course you wouldn't buy something that says spicy beef. You, you would get the regular beef. Um, the barbecue though, I think the Chinese uh, barbecue pork is really, really nice. It's more of a, um, it's a savory barbecue, but it's not like a, a really sweet barbecue. So don't, if you want it sweet, it's not quite that. And it does have just a little bit of teeny tiny little tingle in the back of your throat. Just want you to be aware of that. I don't think it'll bother most people at all. Um, now the spicy beef is a little hotter, so if you don't like um, like a little bit more than normal spicy food, you may not like those. I don't know. It's one of those things you just kind of have to judge by yourself. Um, so seven dollars and forty-seven cents for uh, four buns. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it seems expensive, but you're really only supposed to eat like two of these at a time, probably. Um, so that's at least two meals if you really want to eat light. It's four meals. So think about it that way. So uh, I'm going to give these. I'm gonna give these four out of five. I really do enjoy them. I like the texture. I like the flavors. I think the flavors of both of them are equally good um, in their own way. And I absolutely love that they didn't grind them and shred them up too too finely, that so they actually have some texture to them. I really, really like that. So, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.